Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Uh, so I just want to say thank you for your wonderful contribution uh, to the post I put out and I appreciate all of you making suggestions as to what pick cards I shall do in the upcoming weeks and I want to let you know that um, you've made so many suggestions and it will take me until about the end of April to be able to upload um, all of those videos. So um, just be a bit patient and look out for when uh, my videos uh, come out. I'm going to try and um, upload them every second day or so. So if you haven't subscribed yet, then do so. And you can also allow yourself to be notified by my videos so that you can uh, keep an eye out for the videos that you have requested. There have been some of you who have made suggestions a while ago already and uh, they, they've been on different videos and I have noted them as well. So some of you uh, would also have your suggestions in, in the videos that have been made and will be made. All right. So I also want to say if you haven't checked out the energy forecast that I put out last week, please go ahead and do so. In this energy forecast, I talked about the energy as it comes to an end. And one of the things I forgot to mention is that while we have a birthing of new energy right now, and this can be a wonderful new beginning in terms of how we go forward, there could also be quite a lot of turmoil, quite a lot of uh, upsets, um, upset moods, anger, um, and all that that might have uh, come with that new moon um, almost like an energy of breaking up almost as an energy of if you haven't had uh, that reckoning as yet then that reckoning had to come and so I think that um, this weekend some of you might have experienced something like that uh, and if you haven't well that's great then you've successfully dealt with um what some of the things that needed to be unveiled. Today we are using the uh, messages from your animal spirit guides oracle cards and we have three options here. We have this orange spoon, we have this fork and we have another fork. So go ahead and make your selection. That's option one, option two and option three. Yeah, I couldn't quite find uh, something to use today, uh, but I've decided to go with that. So go ahead, make your selection and you can go directly to your reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one, this is actually a light green here, but you're not able to see it, unfortunately, in this light. Um, yeah, we're asking what, what is our weak oracle card guidance and what is it that we've come here to hear? What is it that we need to know at this moment? So we have the card cat, uh, a domestic cat, and the caption reads, it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over-dependency on others. So I feel that this card is talking about actually moving in a different direction, not needing the approval of others, not actually wanting to be a certain way so that you could be accepted as part of a, a tribe, as part of a, a family, as part of a group. As part of a circle of friends or as part of your your workmates it's talking about actually allowing yourself to be free and be yourself without actually trimming the edges without um, modifying yourself so that you can be accepted this card usually comes up after you've been trying for a very long time to allow someone the space to be able to understand you to allow somebody the space and the time to to get you and I think that here there isn't going to be that uh, opportunity, at least not now, at least not in the in the foreseeable future. And so I think that here this card's telling you to go ahead and not care about what others think and really be unashamedly yourself. You need to be yourself. You need to be who you are. And sometimes you might not like a certain part of who you are or not always be as approving of yourself even. And if you feel this way, then I think what is necessary is that you actually um, give yourself the space to be who you are, even if you don't approve of who you are, even if you don't approve of some of the attributes that you have. Because what you're going to do is that you're going to play out something that you need to do or something that you need to be in yourself. And as you do that, a part of you is being healed. And as you heal yourself, you're able to move on and you go on in a way that is naturally you. And you're going to see that anything that you don't approve of of yourself is going to fall away. And so I think that if you are struggling uh, with yourself, if you feel like you're a bit too critical with yourself, 
uh, then just allow yourself to be who you are for the moment without criticizing yourself. And also, this card is talking specifically about moving away from those who do criticize you, who aren't able to see you, who aren't able to acknowledge who you are in spirit and in soul. And so I think it's time to actually move forth from there. I feel like this could also mean quite literally that if you are staying with somebody, if you are uh, living with somebody, if somebody is helping you out financially um, and they have been for a while or if somebody has been assisting you in some kind of way, now is time to actually break free from that. Uh, not to say that you couldn't uh, accept their help in whichever way. Um, but you don't need to be dependent on it. You don't need to be to rely on it. You don't need to shape your life around it uh, and restrict yourself. So what would you be doing had you not had that person in your life? Had, had you not had that support in your life? Had you had not had that kind of assistance at this time in your life? What is it that you'd be doing? And do exactly that, you know, and maybe you felt you needed to run away from some space, or you needed to get away from some spaces because um, you went really, um, you weren't really happy with the kind of assistance you were receiving. And then if you put that out of the picture and you ask yourself, well, do I still need to run away or can I be here for a while? Uh, can I actually, you know, stay here for a while if I do this on my own terms and I'm not just doing it because I'm supposed to do it or because I'm getting this assistance? So yes, this message is quite specific and it obviously uh, pertains to those of you who do have somebody who is assisting you in some way or you're reliant on somebody um, or some institution or some some group in some kind of way. And uh, But ultimately the message here is forge your own path. Be who you want to be. Be the person that you cannot help but being. And don't be afraid to be that person. Just be that person. You can't help who you are, ultimately. You know, very often we give ourselves a hard time because we try to be a certain way or we try to change or because society expects that from us or our families expect that from us or our workspaces expect us to be a certain way. But ultimately, you can only be who you are. And, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that you're always being efficient or always being responsible or always being motivated. You know, it means that you're a human being and you go through waves and you go through different periods in your life where you are a diff different people and you change many times in your life you know no one really remains the same their entire life uh, and if you do then you're really not working on yourself you're really not growing in the environment that you've been put to grow in and if you don't grow in that environment, if you've been put here, right, in this world and you're constantly being bombarded with all kinds of influences and circumstances and and um, all kinds of events and you're not changing and growing in that, then you begin to putrefy, you begin to die within that circumstance. So you need to mold yourself and go along with the given circumstance, with what the, the situation demands of you at a given moment. Um, you need to work with that. And then you're living in that moment. Then you're actually thriving and living and riding that wave as opposed to just kind of trying to fend off whatever energy is coming your way. So take a moment to think about that. But I think here more than anything, just be yourself and don't you don't have to apologize for being yourself. You know, you just can't be who you want to be and who you can't stop yourself from being and go ahead and do what you need to do. And uh, you're going to see that. As you give yourself the space to be able to be yourself, what's going to happen is that there's going to be something that like a veil that comes off of you and you can find that there's another person underneath you, somebody who's quite raw and quite, um, yeah, quite needing of a certain kind of healing, I would say, not necessarily healing, but I feel like just needing of sunshine, to be honest, needing of some space to be, um, to be in a way that you aren't going to be criticized in any way. And if you've been seeking uh, assistance where people have been saying to you, you know, you've got to be this and you've got to do that, and you've got to do that, and you've just not been able to do it, then just be okay with that because um, you can't actually be anywhere in your life than you are right now. Right now is where you're at. Right now, this is the best that you can do. And that's it. And yes, there may be suggestions that are coming your way as to what you could do or what you should do or what would be better for the outcome. But if you aren't able to do that, 
then give yourself a pat on the back and move on. Okay, so that is my message for you for this week. I hope that has been helpful. I'm going to move on to the option number two. Many blessings to you. So for those of you who've chosen the option number two, which is this white and pink fork, we're asking, what have you come here for? What is the message that you've come here to hear or that you need to hear at this moment? And what is your Oracle card guidance for this week or for this time? Okay, so we have this fork here and the card that's come up is shark. And the caption reads, trust your instincts to discern the truth of the situation. Okay, so I feel like this could apply in so many different ways. It could apply in just understanding whether you understand the world in the in the manner in a manner that is truthful. It could be that, you know, what is the best way to rearrange your home? What is the best way to organize your work? What is the best study um, modus that you need to adopt? Is your way of doing things the best way of doing things right now? So um, whether it's, you know, with regard to your work or your studies or your home environment, and it can also mean with regard to relationships or the way in which you're interacting with other people at the moment. But ultimately, the question, I mean, the, the advice is the same. It means it is, you know, you need to trust your instincts and you need to discern what is the truth of the, of the situation. So it's somewhere here, there's some information that you're not able or you haven't yet been able to allow yourself to understand or allow to come into your life. So you might have been going along and you have a particular um, kind of um, path forward for you and you've been going along quite fine and all is quite good. But there's something there that's missing. It's almost like there's a truth that you cannot see. And it's like, um, I would say <laughs> it's almost like there's a truth there that you cannot see and like it's got a veil uh, over it or some kind of yeah some kind of veil over it and if you pull down that veil then you can see it so I feel like here um, in daily situations in, in uh, mundane uh, situations as well as in more um, kind of relationship uh, related matters or in terms of your own self and your relationship to yourself your relationship to your spirituality there is something here to be discerned. There is something here that you haven't quite grasped as yet. And I would suggest that you take time to meditate upon this and to quite and to take time to understand what is it that you are being offered. Now, in order to trust your instincts, you need to shut off your mind. You need to shut off uh, influences from the outside that engage your rational mind, that engage um, your the mind, that part of your brain that actually accesses information in order for you to be able to clearly hear what it is that your intuition is telling you. So I think that another piece of advice here is to cut out social media, uh, stop watching the news, stop listening to others, stop um, taking in information from the outside world for at least a day if you could, maybe up to three days. <laughs> And see what your instincts are telling you at that moment. Try to live um, in a way where only your instincts are guiding you and nothing else. I also feel like in this card that water might help you or being around a water body may help you. Or even having a fountain in your, in your lounge <laughs> or one of those plug-in fountains may actually be of assistance to you. So... Um, even if you just have a bowl of water that you're working with, try to use that to be able to uh, work with accessing your intuition. So using some water, like uh, soaking your hands in some water or even your feet in some water, just to be able to, while you're meditating and trying to access your intuition using uh, the water spirit, because often water helps um, with shutting off um, that part of your mind which is busy and just allowing flow back into you. There's something about this card that's also talking to me about being too naive within a situation, being way too um, naive, taking things at face value and not really seeing what's coming. And so there's a need here, there's a warning that there's a need to be more discerning as you go along to be able to look more closely at what you're being faced with and to be able to uh, move ahead with caution as well not caution in that you need to be afraid of something but to be able to move ahead with 
uh, more understanding of what's going on with a deeper understanding of what's going on. So being, you know, what, looking at things more closely and, and doing, being able to do that, not by thinking, but by using your instincts. So what is going on right now? Feeling your way through things, understanding what is the situation demanding of you and what is actually going on here. And I feel like for some of you, you're going to find that uh, this is quite a revelation for you as you go along in this week. And as well as the next week, you're going to find that something's going to come up that's going to be quite um, intriguing for you, quite a surprise for you. Not a huge surprise, but something that I would say that's quite interesting for you to know. So pay attention to what's going on right now and try to access whatever's going on through your intuition as opposed to your mind to your mind. And I hope that helps you. I wish you all the best as you go along and wishing you a lovely week forward. Many, many blessings. Okay, so for those of you who've chosen the option number three, we asking the question, what is it that you've come here to hear? What is that morsel of information that you need from here just so that you can go along with extra knowledge and enlightenment as you face your life? So I just want to apologize for the background noise. I live opposite a school here and the kids are out on a break time, it seems, and they are very noisy. <laughs> uh, so you probably hear that um, in this video. I hope that doesn't annoy you. I just don't have another space or time in which to shoot this video. Okay, so the card that we have here is called Tiger and it reads, you being called upon to provide leadership. So trust that you're capable of doing so. So I feel for some of you, you're a natural leader, but you don't particularly see yourself in that way. Or maybe you feel that you are, are a leader, you, you do well as a leader, but in fact, perhaps you need to refine your, your manner of leading, or perhaps you need to be more of a leader. So I feel here that you already have the leadership qualities. You already um, have been in a role of leading things in your life. You're quite a pioneer in that sense. And I think that as you move ahead right now, you're being asked to redefine the way in which you go about leading, the way in which you move ahead. Uh, what are you doing now? So you might have been leading in one particular way, but there's another quality, uh, there's another way in which one can lead, which is perhaps more, uh, more efficient for the goals that you'd like to achieve or how it is that you'd like to go about uh, getting to where you need to go to. You are able to lead now in a way that uh, will be able to successfully avoid the obstacles that are coming your way. And so right now, this is what's been called for. It's been called to look at how you go about your life, how you go about doing whatever it is that you need to do. Whether you're in a capacity of being uh, the leader of a group or uh, defining your path forward or whether it is um, planning a trip for others or um, whatever it is, whichever way in which you need to be a leader in your life right now, sometimes it could just mean that, you know, just making sure that you're eating a balanced diet and ensuring that you are getting all your tasks done in a particular day. And year two, you're required to um, have a leadership role, to move forth uh, as a leader. And so I think that here, this this particular card is talking about not being afraid to take action that you need to take in order to reach your goals, not to shying away from the having the courage to do things, being able to step out boldly. So it almost feels like until now you've been, you know, flying under the radar or you've been doing things in a very um, understated manner and I think that as you go ahead this card's talking about this energy here for the number three it's talking about actually taking action in a way that's going to bring you forth and and really uh, deliver you more efficiently at where you need to be but in order to do that you need to be a bit more bold and a bit more um, have a bit more courage as you go along take m actions that are going to have a risk and that's going to have greater responsibility. I feel here also that there's a fear in being able to do so. It's almost like, you know, like, what if you do that? What would be the consequence of you doing that? Is it okay to do that? What if you don't do that? What if you take a different path? There's all these questions here 
about what is the right way forward and, and can you actually take the right way forward and because you've been doing things in a particular way for so long can you actually change now so that you can go in a different path and move do things a bit differently and I think in order to to do this you know you need to look at each action that you're taking um, and you need to ask yourself well can I do this in a different way or can I do this in a more efficient way? Or what would be another way of doing this that would uh, ask me to look at my own fears or um, ask me to have more courage as I go forward and to be able to look at this in the eye and to be able to face whatever it is that needs to be faced in order for me to go forward. So I feel like this week is a good time for you to be able to look at where it is that you need to um, make some changes in terms of your your path going forward, in terms of your leadership um, of your own life, as well as in other areas where you might be being a leader with regard to other people or whatever situation in which you call to be a leader. When it, if you call to lead, if you call to move ahead, then now is your opportunity to be able to look at yourself and ask yourself: Am I doing this as a brave person? Am I doing this with courage? Am I doing this? Um, for the best possible way it can be done in the most efficient way it can be done or am I here holding myself back because I'm afraid of a potential backlash and I'm trying to play things safe uh, so that I don't have to incur uh, any wrath from anyone else or anything else that might be hurting me in any way I'm trying to keep myself safe here hidden away from the world or hidden away from the way things need to be in order to protect myself. And, you know, then you've got to ask yourself, why are you protecting yourself? What is it that you need to protect yourself from? And is that real? Is it real? And if it is real, well, how can you absorb that? How can you absorb the backlash? So let me give you an example here. If you have a particular skill and you want to take that um, to, you know, to the public in whichever way, perhaps on Instagram, or on YouTube or whichever way and you're afraid of the backlash you're going to receive once you get on there uh, you, you're afraid of the comments you're going to receive you're afraid of the fact that people will not really see what you have as being as special as you think it is and uh, they may attack it or maybe you feel that if you have to show your wares uh, show your skills in the to the world that maybe you'll realize um, that you weren't that good after all and maybe that's a fear that you have so I feel like all of these fears are well-founded considering the world that we live in and the way in which um, social media is um, and, you know, comments on YouTube, etc. But I think that one way in which you can counter this, just within this example, is to put forth an intention that you go ahead and that whatever criticism comes your way is of a milder form of a form that is not going to break you down. And then also, you know, you can steel yourself against it and um, and just put yourself out there for yourself, not for the recognition that you're going to receive from others or the approval that you're going to receive from others, but from the knowledge that you know that whatever you're putting out there is going to help at least one person and is going to be uh, of assistance or inspiration to at least one person. So I think that's that's two ways of being able to approach this thing um, and there's another way I think and that is to understand that once you put it out there there's movement once you take that action it's there's movement and so that movement's going to deliver you to a different space and at that point all the energy would have changed around you because everything else has been in motion until then so it's a journey that you're in and so I think that, you know, I've just given you the example of, of setting up like a channel or um, an account on Instagram or something like that and going ahead and showing what you what you want to show to the world. But this might have nothing to do with that. It might have to do with, you know, just you simply being yourself in the world and um, and having to to show yourself or having to encourage yourself to be more courageous, to be more brave. Uh, in the face of the criticism that you make uh, at, that may come across you I think that um, there's one more thing here and that's that you know if there is a certain itch that you have in you to be able to show your yourself to the world or to be able to do a particular thing whatever that thing is 
it's not going to go away until you've actually done it. And so sometimes it's worth your while just to be able to do it and get it over with, no matter what the backlash is going to be, no matter what the risk is going to be, um, just so that you know that you've done it. And then you can actually be relieved from it uh, because you you because we're here to do that. You know, as human beings, we are here to experience things in the world and to be able to try things. And of course, you could take a different path and say, well, I'm not going to do anything at all. I'm just going to breathe within my um my desire, as some of the sages uh, do, uh, the Hindu and the, the Buddhist sages do, but you, uh, or the monks do, but you, you don't have to do that, you know, that, that is one path, you can actually do what you need to do. And if you're going to go ahead and do what you need to do in this world, then put all your all behind it, put everything that is you behind that. Um, and, and go ahead, you know, move forward fearlessly which has become quite a cliche here in the, in the in the esoteric world move forward fiercely and um and i think that you can do that you can move forward fierce, fearlessly and also uh ensure that whatever you're doing that you're doing it from the best space within you that you're doing it from a place of bravery and courage and you're willing to take that risk and you're willing to be able to do things in a way that's slightly different from before and I promise you that whatever your situation is if you change that energy slightly by doing something that you haven't delved in before or haven't gone something that you you just haven't done before it's going to bring a whole shift of energy in your life and a whole brand new um, motivation to you it's going to bring things forward in a way that's really really nice and sometimes it's just the act of doing it you know and putting it out there and regardless of what people say or what people or how people react to it because ultimately you're doing this for yourself you know ultimately this is about you it's about your journey it's not really um you're not really doing anything you we're not really living in this world to be approved by others to be recognized by others we're living here so that we can actually uh live in the best way that we can possibly live as souls, as beings. And so I think that, um, you know, we don't have to sit around and wait for the recognition uh, that we need, that you might think that you need from others or that, you know, the comments or whatever it is, the um, uh, the feedback that, that you're not living for that feedback that you're getting from other people. And I think if you, if you are, you know, placing too much of emphasis on that then you could be going astray so if you feel like you are then just pull your back yourself back from that well I feel that this last um, option number three has been all over the place and I feel that uh, it th there's been quite a few um, f quite a lot in there that perhaps wasn't articulated as well as I could have uh, just because I wasn't quite sure of what energy was coming through uh, but I do hope that um, that that's helped you and I hope that as you go ahead that you actually have a beautiful week and that um, you stay safe and stay healthy and be blessed. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising. <laughs>